apparently a lot of us just stick with the stock cooler uh, that our CPU came with. So in our case, this is the Raid Stealth. Pero how come kung hindi ka man nag aircon and kung mainit sa, uh, sa lugar nyo and you're not living in the mountainous province like Baguio na malamig talaga ang weather and you're just uh, you know living in a plain area you know na mainit even kahit sa gabi mainit especially during summer I think it is better for you to invest in a uh, aftermarket cooler especially if you are uh, working really hard your CPU if you're giving it full load especially if you're streaming or uh, editing video editing if, if you're a, a content creator in YouTube I think it is really best for you uh, to really uh, invest in a aftermarket cooler although stock cooler ni Ryzen which is uh, again rate stout very very good maganda okay siya if you're just gaming because when we are gaming diba hindi naman lahat ng utilization ng CPU is being used more or most likely uh, 60 or 70 siguro matas na yung 70 even 40 lang siguro but it's a different story when you're uh, rendering when you are uh, streaming so pag nagi gaming ka and then you stream as well so 40% or 60% as a CPU and then the rest or maybe uh, yung medyo may headroom pa naman ng konte will be used by the CPU so more utilization means more power and then more power means more heat that's why you really need a uh, CPU cooler. What I have in here is a snowman, but I ordered the cooler man, but the box says it is snowman. Let us unbox it. So this is the after cooler that I bought. This is actually the cooler man, pero nasa box siya ni uh, snowman so I believe this is just a uh, similar product or I mean a similar uh, manufacturer kaya kasi pareho sila ng ano eh ng model ito siya eh kaso in red tapos iba lang yung pangalan so I believe it's just rebranded or pareho ng manufacturer but anyways uh, I picked the red color it is available in blue and red during the time when I bought it pero I choose with the red kasi yung system ko is red naman siya so let's unbox it. Uh, this is actually ordered again from Lazada and meron ito sa Shopee pero free shipping kasi yung sa Lazada kaya kinuha ko na yung sa Lazada. So unay muna natin si Cooler. So ito si Cooler. Tingnan natin kung ano yung nasa ila ilalim. Wala naman. So box na lang siya. So uh, this is the Cooler. So for size comparison, ito yung box ni Ryzen 3600. And then ito yung uh, Cooler man, na cooler or snowman, kung ano may nabili nyo. So, medyo uh, malaki siya, okay? Pero hindi sobrang laki, hindi kasing laki ni Noctua, uh, NDH15 ba yung pangalan ng model na yun? Pero uh, I believe this is sufficient enough. Especially if you're not uh, overclocking or a little overclocking, hindi naman yung super taas na overclock. This will be uh, enough. So, ito, red siya. Meron pa tayo dito. Uh, I believe this is the bracket for the LGA socket or for the Intel socket. So, ito yun, sa Intel to. And then, meron tayong, uh, I believe this is uh, thermal paste. Yes, thermal grease. And then, I don't know what is this for, pero most probably, pag susuksok nyo yan sa, sa motherboard nyo, and then screws. Asan yung isang screw? But na wala yung screw ko. Isang screw. Ah, yun, four. Okay. And then, uh, if you're wondering kung nasaan yung uh, adapter sa inyong uh, motherboard, kasi nga, especially if you're using it for AM4 or yung uh, pang Ryzen, kasama yan sa motherboard lagi. Nakakabit agad yan pag binili nyo yung motherboard. Pero tinatanggal yan kasi pag uh, gagamitin nyo yung stock cooler ni Ryzen. So, andito siya. Ito siya, guys. Ito. Ito yung adapter for this. So, dito siya. Parang nakaganyan. Ayan. So, assemble na natin. Kunin ko lang yung computer ko. Okay, guys. So, this is my build. Uh, this, as you can see, the uh, stock cooler ni AMD, which is, in my case, the uh, Rates Stealth. My RTX 2060 Galax one-click OC. Dalawang fan sa uh, ibabaw. And then, uh, isang outtake. So, ang airflow is from top, top to back. No? Top to back. Kasi ito yung front, back, top, bottom. Kasi wala akong ano dito eh. Wala akong front fan. So at least may, may airflow pa rin kahit pa paano. Hindi yung walang airflow. My case is Vikings VK11, I believe. Black. So ano to? Uh, tempered glass. 
And then itong fan na to, ito yung natira sa akin. Hindi pa ako nakabili ng bago. Medyo maliit siya. Pero I plan on uh, upgrading that. Kasi nga, uh, medyo maliit siya. Baka hindi sufficient. So, uh, tanggalin na natin si AMD. At kukuha lang ako ng alcohol as well as uh, copon bat. I mean, uh, Q-tip. Q okay guys, so tanggalin na natin itong stock cooler. And uh, fun fact lang guys, uh, this is actually just my second time to... Uh, ano yun? Ba't gumagano yun? This is just my second time to to put a stock cooler. Ito guys, uh, pina-assemble ko lang pala. Because, uh, hindi pa ako confident. Tsaka baka I actually need this right away. So, matagal, baka matagal ako mag, ano eh, mag-assemble. So, I don't know how to dismantle this. Or I believe it's just a screw lang to. Tanggal din. Oh, it's my first time to see you rising. Tanggalin ko lang yung connector. Oh. Okay. Nabuksan ko pa pala yung likod. Mahirap pa naman ano yun to. Isara. Pag nabuksan na yung likod. Ayun. Natanggal si ano eh. Yung bracket na inano ko. Para hindi tayo maano. Ito yung sinasabi ko. So, hawakan ko dito and then i-screw ko siya dito sa loob. Ayun, nagpakita na siya. Pakita ko sa inyo mamaya kung ano. Ayan. Ayan na siya. Okay, kunin ko na yung dalawang screw. Dapat pala, hindi na ako nun. Eh, ngayon, ko, ngayon ko lang kasi na-realize eh. And then, dinisin na natin using our alcohol and Q-tip. Recommended, 90% isopropyl. Pero kung ano yung pinakamataas sa inyo, yun na lang gamitin nyo. Kaysa man sa wala kayong gamitin. Okay guys, so, uh, lagyan na natin siya ng thermal paste. Ang gagawin ko is X pattern. I have choice. X pattern or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pero siguro X pattern. Uh, 5 na lang siguro. That's the best that I can uh, linisin siya. So ito yung fan header. I believe this is outtake. So pag ganito, intake. And then out. So pag ganito natin siya kakapit. Peel natin to. Do not touch this. Please peel off before use. So, ayan. Kita nyo. Uh, four copper. So, kabit na natin siya. Medyo iba yung routing nitong ano na to. Anyways, kabit na natin siya. Ayan. Okay, guys. So, tapos na. Na-install ko na. It took me like one hour to figure this all out. I was really scared. Takot ako. Because it's my first time to install such a cooler. Kasi sa Intel, I have never encountered problem nung install ako ng stock cooler si Intel. Ito, you really have to put pressure. I'm not even kidding. You really have to put pressure. Hindi ko na napakita in detail. Occupied na yung utak ko. I was really scared. But I'm just wishing right now sana mag-boot. Okay. One. Moment of truth, guys. One, two, three. Okay. Ba't siya nagaan? Teka lang, guys. It booted, guys, but uh, meron siyang green something, which is not a good sign. So, something about GPU to. Kasi tinanggal ko yung GPU. Eh. So, reinstall ko lang yung i-ano ko lang, uh, re-plug re ko lang si GPU. Faulty GPU. Or sana yung connection lang. I wish sana yung connection lang. Ayun. Kinabahan ako dun, guys. Super. <sighs> Payak na ako. Woo! Thank God. Shaky pa ako, guys. N nervous breakdown. <laughs> But, guys, ayan. Move on. Makita ko na yung system. 
Okay, definitely itong outtake. Okay guys, so ito na uh, nung na ano ko, nakahinga na ako. Grabe. Okay, so kita nyo, red siya. So, uh, intake. Okay, definitely outtake nga. Yes. And then, ito yung maliit na fan dun sa luma kong computer na sinalin ko lang dyan. Actually guys, I'm not crazy over RGB. Even with no lights at all, I would be very happy. Pero, uh, bin binagay ko na lang since nga red na din naman tong fan ko sa ibabaw. So, so ayun si RTX sa ilalim. So, Ayan siya guys, I was very scared nung kinakabit ko siya. Uh, if you're a first timer and you're watching this, you really have to put pressure talaga na parang feel mo masisira na yung CPU mo. But you really have to put pressure. Uh, kung hindi talaga kayo, if you're really scared, ipakabit nyo na lang sa technician. Kasi so, super nakakatakot. But anyways, uh, ayan nagboot up na siya at uh, pakita ko lang sa inyo yung benchmarks. And then, uh, ito, CPU utilization, 100%. And then, current temperature is 87. 88, 89. So, baka pumalo pa nga ng 90. Nakabit ko na lahat ng uh, panel ng ating CPU. So, uh, parehong side panel. Nakabit ko na and then yung namamahala na lang ng temperature is yung fan. Case fan and then yung uh, ating kinabit na CPU fan. So, run tayo ng Cinebench for our monitor ng temperature. I'll be using the Ryzen Master and then for our utilization monitor, I'll be using the Task Manager. But anyways, uh, run na natin. Multiple uh, multi-core. Yan. Temperature is uh, 72, 73 magnifier tayo. So, ayan. Temperature, then utilization, 100%. Kita nyo ba, guys? 75. Seven, mukhang sa 76 pa to, ah. Sige, uh, 77. Sana huwag nang tumaas. Okay, natapos. 77, nag-peak tayo, guys. Nakita nyo? Okay, Wow. Wow, ang, ang, ang ano, big, ang laki ng binaba. I can uh, run again para ma-test yung temperature talaga. Hanggaran ulit tayo. Sana nga, hanggang doon na lang. If hanggang doon lang siya, I am very happy. Kasi yung ano, yung, yung napanood nyo kanina, yung stock cooler, which is yung Ryzen Stealth. Ano siya, di ba? Nag-89, nagna-90 nga. So, this almost 10 degrees lower. And I'm happy with that performing. Yung max, sabi natin max is 77. I'm happy with that. I'm very much happy. Kasi, within ano pa yan? Within very much acceptable pa yan. Yung temperature niya for a CPU. Kasi, 80 degrees eh. Ang acceptable, 80 degrees. Baba. Pag nag ayaw mag-35 pa kaya to. Lowest 36.01 Ayun, 36.0 Ayan, 35.94 93.91 35.985 So yun guys, so ang laki nung in-improve Grabe, ang laki 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 nung in-improve I'm very happy, very very satisfied So, dito na nagtatapos ang uh, ating review and unboxing for this uh, snowman or cooler man for heat pipe uh, CPU cooler. If you want to leave the video already, you can. But if you want to hear more tips, you can stay. So, ano ba nangyayari sa akin? When I install this cooler, nahirapan ako. I'm not gonna lie. And I think it's going to be the same scenario if you're going to install AMD rate RGB or AMD rate max. Kasi ganun din yung clipping mechanism eh. You have to put first, kasi kunwari ito yung hook nung sa mother board, ba? And then, ito yung i-gaganon mo. You have to put first this. Tsaka mo itutulak pa ganun. So, parang, ang yun nangyari sa akin, at si motherboard, tapos yung dalawang clip nga, nakaganon, tapos nakaganon. Medyo mahirap i-explain, sorry guys, ha? So, ito yung cooler. So, you have to put this here, tapos i-attach mo yung dalawa. Pag na-attach mo, tsaka mo siya itutulak. 
itong cooler na pa ganun. So nakakatakot kasi bakit? Feel ko, ang feeling ko, uh, it will put a lot of pressure sa CPU. But when I read, while ago, while I was at- actually installing it, kanina lang nung in-install ko kasi nga, medyo natatakot na ako eh, parang mali yata yung ginagawa ko. in ko yun, a lot of people actually said na talagang ganun. Ganun talaga na you have to put really a pressure. So you really don't have to be scared. Kasi uh, the pressure, yung pressure na yon is actually will act para sa thermals, para yung contact to contact ng CPU and then yung copper or yung heatsink ng CPU fan will really have to sandwich yung thermal grease to have a very minimal uh, allowance para yung heat to dissipate. And then yung pagkaganon ko nga, diba, ginanon ko. And then you have to push that. And then you have to clip. Medyo mahir- nahihirap lang sa pag-clip kasi you really have to press, 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 press. And then, clip mo. May tip ko lang sa inyo is you have, if you have GPU, remove it. Okay, remove the GPU. And then attach first yung sa top. So kung nasa yung sa top, oh, oh, di ba yung CPU top, front, back, and then bottom. Uh, top. So igagano yung mo na kung baga ito yung motherboard dito. Tapos ito yung CPU and dito yung GPU. So tanggalin si GPU. Yan dito yung mo na ano clip. Pag naklip nyo, parang isusuksuk nyo. Hindi eh. nyo actually iklip. Pag kasuksuk nyo, tulak nyo ngayon pag anon. Tsaka nyo iklip tulak nyo yun nandito tulak nyo yun nandito tulak as in talagang puwersa I'm not kidding with that force that you need puwersa nyo while maintaining yung focus nyo na ikiklip nyo siya hindi yung tinutulak nyo eh, walang nangyayari tulak nyo while trying to clip it okay while trying to clip it and then pag naklip nyo na that's it attach na siya ganun it's very simple but very challenging very you, you, you really have to put force and then put on your GPU na and then put on your 6-pin or 8-pin power for your GPU. Do not forget that. And then yun, bubut na yan for sure. Just be careful with the ESD. So yun yung nangyari sa akin kanina. I thought na ESD damage na yung computer ko. SD, uh, akala ko nag-ESD damage na kasi nag-green screen. So akala ko nasira na and sabi ko, I cannot afford to break this computer kasi uh, syempre, it's not my money first of all at uh, from my Parents, actually my first, medyo high-end na siguro, high-end computer. It's my first time to have high-end computer. And I cannot afford to break it. Medyo, I compose lang, sabi ko, green screen. Siguro, after I restarted, nirestart ko, talagang uh, na-hysterical ako dun. Uh, and then, nagbasa na ako ng thread sa Google. And then, they said, this should be something wrong with your GPU because yung binasa ko. And then, sabi ko, siguro, itry ko lang iayusin yung wire sa HDMI. Pagkaayos ko sa HDMI, nawala. And it was a relief. So, yun lang, guys. Ang may titip ko sa inyo, you really have to force it. But, if you're not confident enough with yourself, I would recommend you to seek computer technician or dun sa pinagbilan nyo ng computer, dun nyo lang ipakabit. Guys, so thank you for watching and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys!